But first, we start at the border and a historic wave of crossing straining resources in the southwest. New numbers from U.S. Customs and Border Protection tonight show total encounters this year have already passed 2 million. That is more than all of 2021. Republican leaders in the border states trying to combat this crisis, they are turning to unprecedented measures to do so. In Arizona, for example, Governor Ducey says he is done waiting for federal help. He has ordered shipping containers to plug the gaps in the wall between Arizona and Mexico. You see that there. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, on the other hand, continuing his plans to bus even more migrants to New York City, where the mayor reportedly has some new plans to house them in the Big Apple. Our team of correspondents it's following the very latest from Texas and Arizona tonight. We begin with Marky Martin. So, Marky, these plans in New York hotels. Yeah, Marnie, New York City now apparently in talks with nearly a dozen hotels about housing these migrants. And one in particular is gaining a lot of attention for being a luxurious front row seat to Times Square. <laughs> With busloads of migrants arriving in New York City, City Hall is trying to figure out where to find them shelter. We are going to fulfill our moral and legal obligation to house everyone that enters uh, New York City. Uh, that is what we have done and that is what we will continue to do. The influx stems from a political battle between Democratic leaders and the Republican governor of Texas. Both parties disagree on border policies, but as crossings reach unprecedented levels, straining resources in the Lone Star State, Governor Greg Abbott says enough is enough. New York is a sanctuary city. Uh, Mayor Adams said hmm. that they welcome in uh, illegal immigrants. Uh, and now, once they have to deal with the reality of it, uh, they're suddenly uh, flummoxed uh, and they cannot handle it. They are now getting a taste of what we're having to deal with. Bus after bus has now pulled into the Big Apple. And while Mayor Adams says New York City will always welcome migrants, he's now asking for federal funds to help with the estimated 4,000 people the city claims have already arrived. In Nicaragua, they would slap us. They would treat us like we weren't human beings. I'm very grateful, very grateful to the United States government. And it's overwhelming the homeless shelter system. But now it seems Mayor Adams may have found temporary homes in nearly a dozen of the city's hotels, including one luxury hotel near the heart of Times Square. New reports suggest parts of the $400 a night Row NYC hotel could become a shelter for as many as 600 migrant families and homeless people. And it's not the first First time for a city struggling with a homeless crisis. There are an estimated 50,000 people in some form of shelter, a number that increased since the start of the pandemic. And New York City turned to hotels to house thousands as the virus spread. And Marnie, that plush hotel reportedly struck a deal with the Department of Homeless Services. And it really sounds like one portion of that hotel will act as this intake center for those migrants who, by the way, are expected to arrive there at the hotel within the month. Also important to note, the city has yet to make an official comment. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.